I don't really talk about my own drug use on this channel at all, but I can admit this one. There was a time when I used LSD and it made me give up smoking. I was a long time smoker, didn't smoke much, smoked a little, like maybe a cigarette or two a day, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes even a little bit less. Tried to quit every now and then, but whatever I did, it was impossible for me to give up smoking. And it was horrible. I smoked for about, I think, 19 years. Um, and then at a certain point, me and my buddy uh, dropped some acid. And uh, it was wonderful. We biked all day and uh, we enjoyed nature. <laughs> Hit someone in the face because it's so beautiful. And when we came home, I saw the pack of cigarettes that he had forced me uh, to buy. He was very fed up with the fact that I was always stealing his cigarettes. I was very annoying like that. And I went over this list of three things that were so obvious, but never really clicked in my mind until that time. First of all, smoking is not really experiencing the drug, right? It's not like you say, hey, let's go out and let's use some nicotine. Nobody ever says that. The wonderful feeling you get after having a cigarette basically is giving in to the addiction you already have. Everybody's first cigarette sucks. Second of all, I realized that I often smoke simply because out of boredom. I'm in a club and somebody asks me like, hey, you want to go out for a smoke? And I say, oh yeah, sure. But if they had invited me for shots of apple juice or I don't know, a carrot, I would probably have loved it just as much. And those two things basically brought me to my third point. There's only one short moment in which I'm alive. And I would like to really enjoy this life as much as possible because I think it's awesome. And do I really then want to waste it on a product that gives me so little joy? So I went over these things in my head while tripping on acid and while having that pack in my hand. And for some reason, just something just snapped in my head and it really felt that way. And I said right there, right then, I will never ever smoke again. So I go out to my buddy who was already having a cigarette and I'm like, I think I just gave up smoking. And he's like, dude, that's not possible. And I'm like, I, I, I think the same. And then I come to the office on Monday morning and I basically say the same thing and everybody you know, wants to hear the story. And of course, it's very curious if in three, two or three months I'm still thinking the same thing. And yes, I never touched the cigarette again. Well, Maybe once. I wanted to try it out about half a year later and I, you know, the whole cliche thing. I hated it. I thought it was disgusting. Couldn't imagine why I would ever have smoked at all in my entire life. Um, and it was so weird. So I, uh, I decided to write an article about it and I called up a bunch of people to, to figure out what happened to me. And it turns out that psychedelics are being used more and more in uh, studies to see how potent their effects are. They're being used against depression, um, PTSD, uh, and even giving up addiction like happened in my, uh, in my case. And it's not for everyone, I think. Don't go out and now use LSD and think you will cure whatever ailment you have. It doesn't work that way. I kind of like to go into my own brain and I kind of think like to self-analyze and I think I am responsible enough to do it. Luckily, scientists are, as we speak, working uh, on these substances to see maybe if they do have some more potential than we previously th thought, because it's not only just nice to look at curly curtains or a very big tree, this drug actually helped me kick another drug. Ja, toch?